Hello, welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda, and um, I have 10 books that are going to self destruct. A week or so ago, I saw a video that Leandra did, and I will link that video down below, where she had 15 books that she was giving herself until December 31st, 2024 to read, or they had to be out of the house. Um, and I thought that's a really good idea because Lord knows I have a lot of books in my house I haven't read. Um, so I was chatting with her and she's like, you don't have to do 15. You can just do 10 or 20 or five or whatever. <clears throat> and I thought about that and I thought, you know, this might be what I need to get some of these older books read. Um, and so and then I was, well, how am I going to choose which books to read? So I dithered about that for a while. And then I remembered in my tracking spreadsheet where I put in all the books that come into my house, I have the date I put them in. So I chose the 10 books, 10 physical books that have been sitting on my shelf the longest. And I have until December 31st, 2024 to read them or they have to be unhauled. That's it. They're gone. Um, now, I know a lot of people do this. A lot of their books are ones like, well, I got this and now I'm not sure. I just don't feel like reading it. You know, those sorts of things, which is understandable. That's not actually the case for me. All of these books I want to read. It's just that when I got them, I didn't have the chance right away to read them. And then they just sat. Um, a few stats of these 10 books. Seven are book of the month. Yeah, I should tell you something. I'm doing better about staying on top of my book of the month. Um, not as well as I'd like to, but in the beginning, I got really behind with book of the month. Um, seven of them are fiction. Not this, there is one book of the month that's nonfiction. So seven fiction, um, three nonfiction. So I'm going to go through them. I'm going to start oldest to 10th oldest. I mean, obviously normal people would do it the other way, but I don't have them stacked that way. <laughs> so let me go through them. <clears throat> the first is Behold the Dre Dreamers by Imbulo Mabu. Ibulo Mabui. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. It is book of the month. Have I read it? I have not. Boy, if I pile them here, they're going to not be able to see the camera. The next one is Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk by Kathleen Rooney. Book of the month. Have I read it? I have not. Oh, by the way, this one is book of the month from September 2016. And this is book of the month from January 2017. Okay, then we come out to my first nonfiction and my first non-book of the month. And that is Liar, Temptress, Spol Liar, Temptress Soldier, Spy. It's just nonfiction about four women who basically served as spies during the Civil War. I want to read this book. Have I read it? Have not. I got this as part of um, uh, Yola Boca Flood Book Exchange that um, I've been doing since I think I got this in 20, probably 2016 book exchange. Um, not read it yet, but I want to, um, I, if I had been thinking, I might've actually done it for nonfiction November, but it, I wasn't thinking. And then the next one, I think this one might have won the national book award. I'll have to check. Um, also it would be a perfect book for right now, but not reading it. Um, <laughs> that's encounters at the heart of the world, a history of the Mandan people by Elizabeth A. Fenn. I do not know if Fen is herself native. I should probably check that and find that out. So it does not, at least from the one paragraph bio in here, it doesn't look like she's native, which does kind of give me a little bit of pause with this book because I do feel that, sorry, <laughs> I do feel that if I'm going to read a history of a native people, I want it written by a native person. So of all the books I have, this one is probably just on that point, the most likely to get unhauled. Okay, the next one is the one fiction I have that is not book of the month, and that is The Girl from the Savoy by Hazel Gaynor. I read Hazel Gaynor in the past perfectly. I enjoy her. I don't know why I haven't read this. I have another one of her books sitting on her shelf. I think it was like number 12 in my oldest books. And I have a, a book of one or two of her books on my Kobo or on my Kindle, one of them. I have one or two of her books in audio. I haven't read them, but I have enjoyed her books when I've read them. Okay. Oh, by the way, sorry if you can hear cartoons in the background. My son's home. Let me move my, my pile so I can start over because that's five. Okay, now this is my nonfiction from Book of the Month. And that is, One Day We'll All Be Dead and None of This Will Matter by Scotchy Cool. A little bit of an explainer on this one. This is not so much me not reading it. This has actually been on the possibilities list for my Marginalized Authors Book Club for a long time. So I've kind of been holding it because it might come up with that, but at some point I've just got to read it. So um, this is an essay collection 
And it's probably something that I might kind of read as an extra thing throughout the year, but I am, I am gonna get to this one. It is not very long. People are gonna get on me about this next one for not having read it yet. I understand it. I deserve all of the, all of the criticism for not reading this book yet. Rules of, Solil <laughs> Rules of Civility by Amor Tolls. Book of the month, haven't read it yet. I've loved, let's see, I've read Gentleman in Moscow, loved it. Read Lincoln Highway, loved it. Don't know why I haven't read this one yet. Um, someone, I think it was a book all of maybe, says that she reads this book at a particular time of the year. So I'm gonna research this and see if it's something that is really seasonal and maybe that will determine when I read it. Um, like A Gentleman in Moscow was not seasonal, but The Lincoln Highway was. So I don't know, I'll have to look a little bit into this one. Someone's making noise. They're being as noisy as they can. That's what happens. Next one. I was just talking to Matt at Baskin the Story about this one, but The Power by Naomi Alderman. I meant to read this before the TV show. <laughs> TV show is aired, finished, didn't watch it because I hadn't read it, but this was an October 2017 book of the month. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. I actually was in a book club that did this one and I couldn't make it that month, so I didn't read it. Still haven't read it. December 2017 from Book of the Month. And finally, The English Wife. December, oh, I got two books December 2017. Didn't read either one of them from Book of the Month. <laughs> the English Wife by Lauren Willig. <clears throat> historical fiction. I would like to read this. Have not read it yet. So yeah, my goal is to read as many of these as I can and whichever ones I haven't read. And I fully, I mean, I'm not saying I'm waiting until 2024 to start these. Um, so I actually have 13 months I could read these in. Probably can't fit any in in November, but I probably could in December. So I have 13 months to read 10 books. Should be easy. Um, but I am going to, as I said, I may just preemptively put um, this one aside. Just I'm going to look a little bit more, make sure I'm right about the author before I do that. I just I just don't feel right reading a history of Native people when it's not written by a Native author. So this one might get put, a, put aside just for that. Um, so that would be 13 months to read nine books. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to ask y'all to help me. And I am going to, um, as of today, I'll pre-schedule, I'll pre-schedule the, the post, uh, the poll on my community page. And I'm not going to put, I will put all of the fiction ones on there and have people vote for which one I should put into my December, my December um, TBR. And I am not doing nonfiction because I do um, the essay collection, the None of this will, this one here, I'm sorry, I had to shuffle my books around. This one is one that I can just sort of pop in and sort of read, you know, this is one that I can read with other stuff. And then I am completely right now calling it, I, I plan to read this one next November. So I, the nonfiction ones I'm not gonna include in these polls, but I am going to include all the fiction ones. So by the time this video goes up, the poll will be there and the poll will keep going with just one less book each month or whatever. Just about lost all my books there. <laughs> So please go vote. Tell me which one I should put into my December TBR and let's see if I can get these done by uh, December 24th, 2020, December 31st, 2024. Cause I really don't want to like, I, I want to read these books. I do. I just, just haven't yet. <laughs> anyway, thank you all very much. Please go check out my community page and you can vote in that poll. Uh, subscribe, like, leave me a comment, you know, get on my case for not reading Rules of Civility or tell me that Lillian Boxfish, Lillian Boxfish is the best book you've ever read or whatever you want to say about any of these books. Tell me. Um, feel free to join my Discord. We can tell me there what you think of these books. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.